okay continuing from where we left uh, user defined modules now i'll give an uh, example on how to create user defined modules so user defined modules is uh, identifying elements on your application and uh, these are the different types of uh, ways why uh, how we can identify the elements that is identify by properties identify by anchor identify by image as well as identify by index now i will try to give examples of these uh, kind of identifications in tosca so i'll i'll go back to tosca application and um, there is a folder called as modules as i already shown in the previous video there is a standard module folder already created now what i will do is i'll right click and create a new folder called as user defined modules ideally you can name it anything but it will be easier to identify which are the user defined modules and which are the standard modules now if you noticed one thing uh, while i right clicked there are two modules over here which is uh, x engine module as well as sorry this is classic module as well as this is x engine module so the icons which i had shown in the previous video that was like the line uh coming in between uh, the orange uh, icons uh, that gives an indication of a classic module and this one is an x engine module okay so th since this video is related to user defined modules i'll create a user defined module now now in the previous video which i mentioned was uh, you have to make sure your application is already open So this is an example application which I had created uh, just to give you guys a easy view on how to create um, user defined modules. So what I will do is I will right click on user defined modules and I will scan the application which is open. So you know if you notice there are different uh, selections over here desktop, remote desktop, mobile, mobile 3.0, non UI, other now for a ui application what i will do is i'll particularly select as desktop and an agent will start which will look for all open applications so i'll click on the application that i need to scan and as soon as i do that what opens up is an x scan window now if you notice what uh, x scan window does is it captures all the elements on the web page uh, web page now since i entered into this web page now uh, you can see all the elements over here now if i click on different elements you can see that uh, different properties are available for uh, for those elements now you can see in tosca what happens is tosca classifies it as a technical properties as well as the representation properties now the technical properties is something which is generally used for identification of the element and useful for us as well now uh, having said that uh, it might be that uh, just click on uh, sign in portal so what i can do is uh, sign in portal is one of the web elements so if i check box the sign in portal one important thing is this particular element should be uniquely identifiable now this is a green indication which uh, helps us to understand that tosca can actually unique uniquely identify this element to perform an operation on this now as soon as i select sign in portal what happens is there are technical properties of inner text as well as tag that is automatically selected and uh, since this particular element is uniquely identifiable I'll be able to use these technical elements to look for sign in portal link on the web application. Now I will click on save and close this window. As soon as I do that, 
the the technical element has been captured over here and a module has been created so if you go here in the properties you can see that the title has been captured and this particular icon shows that this is a link which is a sign in portal so this is how we create a user defined module having a unique property and as i said it is important that we capture the elements which have a unique property so that the tosca can perform an operation on that on the next video what i will do is i'll show the different types of um, identify by uh, index or identify by image as well as identify by anchor which is useful as well during tosca identification and i'll provide those examples in which case uh, it is uh, identified by properties and which cases uh, it is identified by other ways